you Divine Feminine and welcome to your Power Message for Sunday. So I'm going to bring in three decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the gorgeous Divine Feminine Oracle, the Love Your Inner Goddess cards, and we're going to bring in a gorgeous deck, the Path, the True Path of Angels. So we're going to bring these in, but first of all, I want to say this. If you're having any stomach issues or you have had over the weekend, make sure you watch the masculine reading because it's very likely you're picking up on their energy. But it could be your own energy because you're also operating in and out of both energies right now. So if you're finding that you're smelling like your twin, okay, I know it sounds a bit strange, but you know, if you can smell their aftershave on you or their perfume on you, or you can smell their natural scent on you, that's a huge sign that you are not only merging into one because you are one, but you're getting closer and closer to union because you can smell them on you. It's like they've been around you and you can still smell them. So this is a sign from heaven that you've been connecting in that way, whether it's through astral dreams, whether it's through astral projection, connecting on the 5D or feeling them around you. And I'm talking about real spiritual essence. You know, you may have been around your twin, maybe you've spent the night with them or you've had a date with them or you've been somewhere with them and you've been able to smell them after. But I'm talking about when they haven't been anywhere near you and you can smell them anyway. And that's what they're showing me, especially around the right side, because the left side is connected with the feminine. The right side is connected with the masculine. So if you're experiencing things on the right side... It gives you an indicator of what it is because you know it's connected with your twin or your own masculine energy. If you're having things happening on the left side of you and they give me fear, that's connected with the feminine side of you. So the fears may come out on the left side. So this is really interesting to know if you have any, you know, physical things. Say if you were like, I had the right shoulder pain because that's connected with the masculine burdens. Okay, when I went through that, which luckily is healed now, still a little bit achy, but all the pain's gone up and I've got the movement back. But maybe you've kind of broke a nail. You know, we spoke about the thumbnail. I've still, and that's why I'm not wearing nail varnish because I'm waiting for this nail to sort itself out now. So I'm probably not going to be wearing nail varnish for a few months because my nail has split down that far. It needs to heal. And that's on the right hand. So the right hand is connected with the masculine. So you may feel like your masculine is your right hand. Interesting. But this is about, you know, the masculines being under pressure or feeling struggle within their mind. You know, the thumb is about that and worrying about reaching out and what will happen. So anything that happens on your right side is connected with your masculine energy or your own masculine. Anything that happens to you on the left side is connected with your energy or you know, the divine feminine aspect of you. So that's really interesting to know as well. So if you have been smelling your twin, that's the reason why. And, you know, it happened to me as well when I was going through the shoulder thing because I could smell George. I could smell his natural scent. And, you know, it's just very potent to me because it's very nice to me. You know, so, and I'm not talking about smelly people. I'm talking about you being attracted to the natural scent of your twin. And if you can smell them on you, I know a couple of people watching will resonate with this. I know you will, Rob, especially. You know, smelling your twin on you. Smell like, what's that smell? Is it testosterone? Because it feels very manly. It doesn't matter, remember, if your masculine is a man or a woman. This is about the masculine scent, okay, being on you. So... Just take that into consideration and do let me know in the comment section if you've experienced that too. Well, let's bring in some cards and then we're going to bring in the book. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the feminine today? Jumping out. What's the energy, please, angels, around the feminines today? Wow. I love it when a lot of cards come out so quickly. It's a huge sign of power, collective energy. And the energy around the feminines today. What do we need to know? There it is. See it jumping out there? Okay. So the energy around the feminine today is we've got the number 20. It says angel of yacht. But they're actually giving me the word angel of you. So this is really you connecting with you since 2020. 
You know, 2020 was the year of awakening and the year of understanding. It's where a lot of things came to light. We had the pandemic, we had lockdowns, restrictions, changes, and things were changing around you and within you. Friendships, jobs, circumstances. It says, nurture friendships with loyalty and respect. Weed out those that threaten it. So your circle is changing right now. Things are changing within your life and things may have already been changing since 2020. So maybe you haven't been spending as much time with people because of what happened with lockdowns, restrictions. You know, a lot of us have changed the way we do things, the style of our lives, which means we may, we may be spending more time online or spending more time at home or working from home you know, changing things. So we may have more online friendships now than physical friendships. And that's an evolvement in a way of the, the times, the way things are, you know, the way things are happening right now in society. So you're nurturing the friendships that feel good to you and you are releasing the ones that don't. And it's a natural thing. Don't feel guilty if you've known someone for 20, 30 years but you're just not gelling with them anymore or it doesn't feel right anymore. As you evolve and grow and transform, it's natural to change the people you're around. And that's why the divine masculines realise through their karmic situations where they truly belong. Because if they've been in a marriage, for example, or a relationship for like a long, long time, they know that they've outgrown that. So this is you realising what you've outgrown. And this could also be happening today, which means... You could be spending time today with friendships or with friends around people and you're realising that even though you may respect them, you may not want to be around them because they may threaten your joy. And that's what I'm feeling. So, And this is also threatening energy as well. We spoke about that yesterday, shielding yourself from anything negative, shielding yourself from things that can cause you harm or try to cause you harm because nothing can without your own permission, things that threaten your happiness. And you know what that's like when you're around people and they're being very negative, family as well, negative, trying to drag you into gossip and drama, and you're like, this is threatening my happiness. I don't need this. So you naturally take yourself out of the equation because you don't need to be around that energy. And especially if anyone's threatening you, you know, or you feel that energy and this can also be when people feel threatened by you because of your power and your light when people are disrespecting you or judging you or saying things about you which is really what we spoke about yesterday so this energy could be lingering around this weekend you know where you feel like people are coming at you and you've got to stand your ground and defend yourself and shield yourself so the angel's saying give your energy where it's appreciated where you are respected, valued and, you know, looked after. Not where you feel threatened or you feel where there's all gossip and drama and stress and negativity. Be where the light is. And that's why many of you may be connecting online with people here on Guided by Angels or in some other online community or group because you're feeling like these people have got your back. You know, they're not threatening to you or threatening you. Whereas people around us can bring that energy in. So this is really a message saying to you, think about where you spend your time and where you give your energy. Because remember, we also become the people we spend time with. So in other words, if you're spending time with the right people, people are uplifting you, feeling good, positive, you know, connecting you with heaven, you're going to feel wow every day. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel better every day. Every day, you're going to improve you. If you're around negative people, swearing people, people who are just moaning about everything, saying how bad everything is and they haven't got this, they haven't got that, you're going to be in that energy. So the universe is wanting to bless you, but you're holding yourself back. So really look at your life today, Divine Feminine, and think, is this serving me? Is this friendship serving me? Are these people serving me? You know, even our twin sometimes does not serve us being around them because they're in that energy, that state of mind, that negative vibration, victim mode. And we're not. We don't have to dim our light to fit in with anyone, including our twin. So if you find that your twin is draining you because, oh, he's just negative today, 
then operate in a higher way. Focus on you and spend time doing something else instead of focusing on them. We've got on your own terms. And I feel that's what this is. Do things on your own terms. It says she waited really long. She really, she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. So this is a very good day for you because, you know, we're preparing for a brand new week. So a Sunday is always a great day to reevaluate and prepare and forgive and wipe the slate clean to begin again. But we're also moving towards the energy of April. And, you know, April is a new beginning. It's a new tax year. We've got, you know, all the bills restart. So really it's a reset. You know, and April is the time of Easter and resurrection and healing. So I'm feeling you're getting ready for a reset. It's like you're having a factory reset in your mind. Like when we factory reset our phone and everything gets wiped away, we feel fresh and clean. It's like when we have a clear out or a spring clean and we, everything feels fresh and clean. We do that within ourselves. So nobody can save you but you. So you're saying I waited a really long time to be saved, but now I realise... I can save me and I decide to do that today. So I feel this is you doing things on your terms today, saying yes when you want to say yes and say no when you want to say no. Don't feel pressured or pushed into doing things or spending time with people. Do it your way. And we've got Mermaid Soul. And this is the number 33, connecting with the Ascended Masters, feeling alive, feeling strong. And, you know, this is connecting with your soul, the things that make you feel good. Even if that means releasing emotion, you know, at times we can wallow in self-pity and in fear and we have to pick up, pick ourselves up and realise where we are and why we've been experiencing these things. So the mermaid soul, I'm connecting with this as being flexible, adaptable and going with the flow of your life. You know, mermaids live in water. So this is also connected with Atlantis energy, remembering that you are a telepathic being. And that you don't need to have physical communication to communicate. Well, you don't need to be told physically what to do because you know intuitively what to do. So I feel this about tapping in with your own soul and listening to the messages. And we've got divine badass. So you can be a divine badass, which means being you, being a badass, being a, a leader, a survivor, a pioneer of truth. That's who you are. Being badass, doing things your way being a rebel, stepping out from the crowd, not listening to what other people say about you, trusting what you say about you, and being a free spirit. And this is the energy of 22. So what I'm really feeling is, you know, the universe is saying to you, I have your back. You can do what you want to do now. You've been going through a huge change and transformation since 2020 and 2022. And now you're free to embrace your spirit, your way. And we've got, this is powerful because this says, love, love who you are, because that's what you are, you know, love who you are, enjoy being you, and be passionate about it. So I'm not sure what the word means there, I'll show you close up, what it says in there, it says love who you are. So this is really about you becoming the person you were born to be, and loving the person that you are today, and the person that you are still becoming tomorrow. So there's a lot of power in this energy here, working out what you want, where you want to be, what you want to do. And we've got creative or creatrix, 18. So this is about thinking about the things you want to create in your life, doing things your way, doing it on your terms. And we've got the joy permitted mother, I am my own guru. So this is really what you're doing, you're focusing on you doing it your way, setting your own boundaries, your own terms, being creative, saying, I am my own guru. I know the self and it never changes. So in other words, you know yourself. And that means you know that you change and grow and transform, but the way you feel about your journey and your twin will not change. You know that love is deep within you. And the patroness of miraculous healing, I am ready. I am my own guru and I am ready. I'm ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. So this is you starting this day in a fully different mindset. You know, wiping the slate clean, saying, I know who I am and what I want. And I'm going to do this on my terms, my way. I'm going to 
get rid of the things that don't serve me and the people that drag me down and focus on the things that do serve me and lift me up. The prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is my true abundance. So you're being guided constantly and your heart shows you what to do, where to go, what to say. Because when you follow your heart, you're always guided in the right direction. And the warrior saint, I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. So because you are devoted to your journey and you are a warrior of love and a leader of light, you attract in everything you need. So the angels are reminding you of that today. You know, you are your own superpower, your own superhero today. And the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. So when you commit to this love, your soul, your twin flame evolves. So I feel this is a huge message of the way they are growing, transforming because of your love, because of your light, your commitment to them, because you don't give up. I am a love that doesn't leave. And that's something as well that the masculines have never had before. They've never had a love that doesn't leave. It doesn't leave them. You don't leave them. So they feel the power of it. And our lady of the hermits, I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. So embrace the hermit energy. Embrace the quiet time, the solitude, the time to do you. Because you transform in that time. And the pain and the suffering you've been through allows you to love deeper and healthier than you ever have before. You know, the wound is where the light goes in. Rumi said that. And you open your heart bigger and more openly to all love by going through pain. You know, we learn how to love through the experiences we have. And that's what you've been reminded today. To allow the love in, to feel the love, to experience it your way. So the message for today is, take a stroll, wow, and it's a Sunday, easy like Sunday morning, so you may want to take a stroll today, go in nature, go for a walk, go for a hike, breathe in the air, just go outdoors, something magical happens when you take a walk, your mind relaxes, your tension level is lowered and you notice the details in your surroundings, we do feel at peace, let's go for a walk. Let's go and walk off our dinner. That's what people say. Let's walk off the food. Because walking around, it puts you at ease. There's something powerful about walking your dog. You know, a couple have just been past walking a dog. So walking your dog. You may feel like it's an obligation. It's a duty. Making sure your dog gets exercise. But really, your dog is doing you a favour. Because you walking your dog is giving you permission to relax and breathe and have a moment for you. And notice what's going on around you and feeling at ease with your life. The very act of walking is a rhythmic meditation that helps you to hear yourself think. That's why when you're walking, you get guidance coming, you get ideas. You start being shown what to do. Whether you're listening to music in your ear pods or you're just listening to the sounds around you, you get guidance. That's why when you're walking, sometimes a car can go past and maybe there's a traffic jam where you are and the car stops and wow, there's a song on at that exact moment you need to hear. Or a couple may walk past having a conversation that you need to hear. The universe speaks to you through the natural rhythmic stroll of meditation, which comes through walking, driving sometimes, being in your own energy, mindful meditation. When you're aware of what's going on, but you're receiving guidance. When you share this activity with a friend, your conversation adds a therapeutic element as well. So you may feel you want to go walking with a friend. Maybe you want to take a walk with your twin. Or maybe you're walking with them inside of you. Wherever you go, they go with you, remember. And you end up feeling refreshed, renewed and grateful that you took this opportunity for self-care. So go for a walk today, Sunday, so you may have the time to do it. Even if it's a five-minute stroll around the block, it brings in power. Give me a little bit of fear there, fear being released. You know, for me, for example, you know, a bit of fear there. On New Year's Eve, you know, me and my dad, when I was a young kid, you know, we used to do what we call first footy. So we used to go out the back door and, you know, where we lived when I was younger, you know, we went out the back door and there was an alleyway because it was a terraced house. 
So, and I'm talking about, you know, at first we lived in a different house, we moved. But, you know, the house that I really see as my childhood home, you know, we it was a terraced house. So we came out the back door and we had to go out of the alley and walk up the street and come around and go in the front door through the front of the house. So on New Year's Eve, just before midnight, we'd go out and we'd come in the front door. We called it first footing. I'm sure that most people call it that. But it was to let the first people to come into the house to bring in luck and to bring in joy. And we used to do that. And I forgot all about that for a long time. And then last year, you know, or should I say this year, preparing for this year, I did it myself. Okay, and we've here, you know, we're in a semi-detached house. So we've got, here we go out of our gate here, you know, our back door, and we have to come round to the front of the house. So I did it myself. And it was nice as well because I watched some of the fireworks going off at midnight. But I wanted the first energy to come through the door in the new year to be my own. George didn't do it with me, but I did it. And I did it for me and I did it for my dad. And it bought me power. And in that moment, you know, I just intended to walk out and walk back in. I got distracted by the fireworks. So I noticed the fireworks and felt the energy and had a bit of a moment Whereas if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have noticed that. So again, the fireworks was something that grabbed my attention. You may go for a walk today and something may grab your attention that makes you think or maybe even bring up a memory. Like that just brought up that memory of my dad. So it brought happiness in and joy. Make time for a stroll today, which is a slower version of walking for fitness. Meander a while, stop to chat with neighbours for a few minutes and allow yourself the luxury of smelling roses or petting animals along the way so just be in the energy of the now be you and you notice things you know me and George did it the other day you know we got back from shopping and George was kind of opening the front door and a guy was walking past with this big dog and I just went oh and I was stroking this dog and I got into a conversation with this guy and the dog was called bear and it looked like a big bear and you could tell the how proud the owner was of his dog and he was talking about him and I know in that moment it was something he needed to hear it wasn't me needing to pet the dog or you know be around that energy it was him needing to hear that someone listened to the love of his dog and how proud he is and sometimes we need that that's why sometimes we can have a conversation with a stranger and it means something powerful it can matter more sometimes than a conversation we can have with our family or friends this may not be cardiovascular exercise but it does increase your heart's capacity for love and that's because you're breathing in nature you're noticing things around you you're feeling gentle and beauty because you're feeling the beauty in all things and when you take a stroll and go outdoors Archangel Jophiel is with you I take a stroll anywhere my heart desires I walk at an unhurried pace and I stop to notice my surroundings, I connect with nature, and I talk to others. I allow myself the gift of time as I take a relaxed and leisurely walk. Isn't that beautiful? And I love that that's come up today on a Sunday, because even though some of you are working, you know, some of you won't, and you may have the time to go out and about. Whereas in the week, if that came out, for example, on Monday, you may not have the time, or you may struggle to find the time, or even the energy to do that. So go for a walk today, make that your priority to connect with God in heaven and your surroundings to feel at ease. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.